Labne, you're going to strain it, you're going to leave it, you're going to eat it, you're going to enjoy it. Let me show you how we can strain this yogurt, turn it into a dip in just five minutes and then leave it to um, drain for a few hours and you're ready to go. That's how easy it is. All you need is your natural yogurt. What natural yogurt you guys decide to use, it's completely up to you. I like mine creamier, you can use your homemade yogurt, you can use a tangy yogurt, you can use a creamy yogurt, it is completely up to you. Find yourself a bowl and a sieve that sits over the bowl or into the bowl but not touching the bottom. And this is what we're going to do. You need to get yourself a cheesecloth or if you want to use chucks and throw it away, wash it, it's up to you. My mum used to use money bags from the bank, obviously washed, and we used to use those. My friend has a dedicated pillowcase that she uses to, to strain the yogurt. So, all we're going to do, place your cheesecloth or your cloth over the strainer. You got your labni, I like to salt mine. So, a sprinkle of salt, and we are going to stir that in the tub as is. Whatever tub you're using, you can use a bowl. I like creating less dishes. So I'm going to stir that and I'm going to pour that into the cloth. Just like that. Fold your cloth over the top and now it's done. All you're going to do is leave that. The water was strained from underneath and I will show you what that looks like in a few hours. A few hours later, you can see I've got all the water that has drained out of the yogurt. So now we open up and we have a look. The longer you leave your yogurt to strain, the thicker it will be. And this also is very personal. How do you love your yabni? I love mine creamy, but I like it soft because you gotta also remember when you put your yabni in the fridge, it will thicken up as well. And so here we have a creamy labni. Is it a dip? It's more than a dip. It's breakfast, it's your wrap, you have it as a dip. You can also have it as a base over vegetables, over roasted carrots. It is so versatile. So I only rest mine for about three, four hours, remove it and I place it in the fridge, ready to be enjoyed every day. But let me show you how I will serve mine um, over a breakfast dish. So we have the alabni plated all right, into our bowl and this is just one way to garnish it. Remember, um, you can garnish with just paprika, with a sprinkle of parsley, drizzle of oil, you can put mint on there, you can um, dice up some uh, radishes and scatter them on there. This is just my way, or a way, another way of doing it. So I've got some chopped olives, green and black, and I'm only going to scatter those around the side of my bowl. You can see I have also used a black bowl because that's a good contrast to the white labni. So we're gonna go across. You can even garnish with chili. Chili is yum with labni. And then I'm going to grab some parsley that I've chopped up and just garnish the olives a little bit with that. And most importantly, you need to use good quality olive oil. I can't stress enough how important good quality olive oil is with labni. And here we go. If you think that looks delicious, wait until you try this labni in a wrap. But a wrap that's made by Amtara, my mother-in-law, the queen of wraps. You will have one, you will need a nap. So if you love this video, please remember to subscribe and um, like and comment. Stay tuned, watch the next video and see Amtara wrapping that labni up for us.